This is a video on how to create a DVI or Digital Vehicle Inspection. So to do so, first we must navigate to our inspection area. Use your left sidebar and select Inspections. Here you'll find a list of all the inspections that you may have. You can duplicate these if you need to. So imagine we want to create a 40 point and that we don't want to start from scratch. So I'll find my 20 point, navigate to the three dots to the right, select it and duplicate this inspection. Now we have two 20 points. So now if I need to make this 20 point a 40 point, I can select the three dots again and edit this inspection. Change the title, add more tasks for the technician to check, or if we did this in error, we can delete the inspection as well. Just like that. Now to create an inspection from scratch, you want to select the new inspection button. Here we would title it, let's call it new inspection, and then we would add a group. So when thinking about groups, a good example is under the hood. What would you want the technician to check that's under the hood? So for me I would think fluids, I'd also want them to check any belts, maybe filters, and just for an example, let's say power steering. The fluid, that is. So now we have one group with four tasks, and we can move on to the next group. So what else would we like the technicians to check out? Let's imagine this one is going to be brakes. And what would we have them check? Well, I would think front pads. You can check front rotors. We'll have them check rear pads and rear rotors. Just like that. So now we have two groups with four tasks in each group. And this would just go on to however big you want your DVI. Now you can also map canned jobs to these. So let's use the example power steering. So every time the technician finds the power steering in bad condition and they complete the DVI, it'll automatically put a canned job on that repair order. So to map this correctly, I'm gonna type in steering. And I'm gonna add my BG power steering service. So when the technician completes the DVI, it will automatically put a CAN job on the repair order. Now you also have a way to add findings. These are words you can use over and over again, verbiage that you would want your technician to use. So here I'm going to select findings and I don't mind using the word worn or broken or failed. Let's add one more. Blown up. So I imagine we, in real life, we use, you know, below 330 seconds, out of tolerance, has play, and so forth. Then you could rearrange these words. So anytime you see four lines, this means you can repopulate. So if you want blown up up top, go for it. And once we're done, we can save this inspection. So now we have a new inspection here as well. Once again, you can duplicate it, you can edit it, or you can delete it if you need. But that's how you would create a DVI. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and to share it with the rest of your team. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you would like to see more helpful videos for auto repair shops. Have a wonderful day.